Mr. Shithead, bring me a dream with a jig head that I've never seen. Mr. Shithead, bring me a dream. Good morning, viewers. I'm down here at the boat ramp and getting ready for a charter trip with a father and son. And one thing I wanted to do before that is I've been, I discussed it, I think, on a, some comments before on a different video. But um, I just wanted to show you these reels that I really like. And I actually like them more than some Shimano Dakota 300s that I have. And that is these little graphite Shakespeare ATS 15s. Take a look. All graphite body. I think it might even be a graphite spool. I'm not sure. It could be aluminum. It's black, it's hard to tell. A graphite reel. Graphite, level wine, star drag. Why do I like these so much? It's for the sheer fact, again, like my Shimano Tritons that I've had so many videos about, which is these. All graphite body, simple. They don't corrode, and they're just a Timex reel. They just, you can't hurt them. Well, I wanted to find something that was smaller and faster. These are like a 4.2 to 1 gear ratio, okay? Uh, they're, a little, they're a little bigger than this one over here, the Shakespeare ATS. This is a 5 to 1 gear ratio reel. You can tell because of the fact it has a drop-down gear case. These guys won't shut up over here. They don't shut up. I don't know what they're all excited about. Cut me a break, will ya? Well, I'll try to talk over them. Uh, no corrosion. You need to check these out if you're just looking for something simple. Five to one gear ratio level wind and here's the nicest thing about them you disengage auto engage auto engage you turn the handle and they auto engage when I'm using my float rigs and we're drifting out behind the boat these are my go-to reels finally I found reels that you could just beat day in day out and they don't they don't um, get all corroded or give you any trouble all we do is we flip the lever back, we drop our float out behind the boat, and we're drifting, and when your float goes down, bam, you just turn the handle. Unlike these Shimano's, these Shimano's, you turn the handle, or you, you disengage the reel, you turn the handle and nothing happens. You have to manually engage it, which, when you're doing sort of casting, or dropping back line and then you get a hit it's just easier for people people that I take just to be able to go oh 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 yeah there he is and you click the handle and turn uh, very simple reel that reel all day long on eBay you can find them in Academy you can find these all over the place $35 is about what you'd pay one thing, there's one little faux pas about the reel, is the fact that the, the tension knob over here that, that puts tension on the spool, it's a little like loosey and it kind of wants to back off on you. So just to keep things simple, I put a little dab of glue on there and I just glued it to exactly where I want it to be. And that's the reason being is because I got customers and they 
they're fiddling with stuff because they don't even know what they're fiddling with sometimes. Oh, is this the drag? You know, I mean, that kind of thing. Five to one gear ratio. And I think about 15 pounds of drag on this little reel right here. So we're going to use it for some sheep's head fishing today. A little egg sinker. We're going to be using these a lot today with fiddler crabs. So, in between all the laughing going on over here, I just wanted to take a moment and share those reels with you. Number three. A little better on the. There we go. There. This is for Captain Jeff in Fort Lauderdale, and he always talks about all those rednecks up in Northeast Florida catching sheep's head. <laughs> that one's a little better. Yes, sir. Oh man, did he just pick a crap? All right. Number three. Man, did he just take a dump? Yeah, that was... All right. My boy here finally got him one. Ain't the biggest one in the river, but it is a sheep's head. Seven stripe of Jetty Snapper. Here, show these folks that'll be watching us your technique of pinning on, <laughs> pinning on thy fiddler grabber. He's doing pretty good for where? Nebraska? Nebraska. A boy from Nebraska. Look at him. Oh, look at that. Expert. Expert stuff here. <laughs> All right. We got ourselves a seven striped true jetty snapper. Who let them dogs out? <laughs> oh, come on. He has to come over here. It's nice and photogenic over here. Well, I guess he won't. Oh, there he is. Yes. Let's see what works. Okay, as soon as he pops up, let me scoop him. Let me swing him up. Alright, All there we go. That's how we do it. Woo! Good hook set, good hook set. All right, hold him up. You can see how much he weighs on that. And over here, there's going to be some marks inside here. Okay, okay, I'm taking a picture, Jim. Four. Four pounder? Hold him up and smile. All right, end of day. End of day. We got I don't know how many, but we'll count them as we go along. Good size. Good size. So, good day. Good day is right. Good day. Now it's, as I always say, time to make the donuts. 